Lend me your ears. Long has our Fevremont suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, oh how long I have awaited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Draken throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is it you? No? Hmm, it is hard to say. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward, are you the one then? Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Is it you? No? Ah, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Aha! Uh -huh. I thought I recognized you.
I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Get a move on! Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. This armor seems oh, nice. Too much for me. 
supper and a night's rest. Time for you to get to work. You are prepared to work. Then you ought begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Pray leap. Oh, oh. Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. You escaped. Oh, you! Get back here! No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, Arisa. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you are truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment that I at least like a word. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Have you beheld the dragon as Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you.
Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as Luke would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. There's no easy thing. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. Pleasure doing business with you. Not buying. That's just as well. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Fancy a gander? I find
certain goods for sale. Always a pleasure. Trust thoughts well, sir. I trust thoughts well, sir. Well, I'm going out, are you? You sure that's a good idea? You seem rather unwell. You ought at least rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Take it from me. You're better off resting while you have the chance. First, my assess the field. Then, uh... Hoi there. My pa always used I. Being armed is... You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. We must rest, though the sun is still... From provisions to crafting materials for weapons and armor. We've had a hard time procuring goods. What I sent Marcus to gather what we What say you? Could I trouble you to run an errand? Glad to hear it. Here, he ought to be somewhere north of and in the note, and he'll take care of the rest. At last we've arrived. Delivery in hand. It's everything assembled. A job well done, if I do say so myself. Oi, did you need something? This is from Sir Geoffrey, is it? Let's have a look then. Fine. He wants these as well, does he? I thought I was finished. Why should I have to do all this on my own? I've got plenty to carry as teeth. Say. Your arms look free. You can handle that list in my stead. And make haste. I would depart for the encampment even a moment sooner. Well, go on. You know what to do. First, we must find out how to procure what we require. Then our search can begin in earnest. is generally used as a material.
Let me get that. How goes it? Have you gathered everything on the list yet? Brilliant! I knew I could count on you. Here, take this for your trouble. I'll be heading back to the encampment now. They'll be expecting me. I felt certain I would find you here arisen, and it seems I was right. Ah, oh, good. I see the arisen's found someone to handle our busy work. Oi, many thanks for passing on that list to Marcus for me. As I hear it, you even assisted him in gathering the supplies. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Anyway, you've been a great help. I hope I can count on your aid again should the need arise. Our efforts have seen the encampment resupplied and Sir Geoffrey with one less care. A good deal. Not a bad idea. If you seek to restore your memories, Master, me thinks a trip to Melv might be just the thing. Very well. I'll guide you there directly. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Right, just follow me. Still, I can hardly believe it. A griffin of all things here. Add to that the recent dragon sighting. It is said that the arrival of the Sovereign portends an age of peace, yet only trouble has followed. What does it all mean? I had thought being in the Border Watch would make for easy work, but the wind's beginning to blow in a fell direction. Well hey oh, you a soldier? Could be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir. I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The Hyde can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. 
Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Tisn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Let us do everything in our power to render aid to those in need. If you can weather a harpy assault unaided, shall we hasten to Sir Ocado's rescue? Fret not, Master. I know precisely where this person can be found. We've got goblins! Leave it to me. Battle is best avoided here. Stricken with sleep. How troublesome. Well done. Hmm? What an awares? Never be so careless. To match your skill, Master. Arisen, I knew you loved this world too much to leave it behind. I hope I can count on you in a scrape. There are you. Is that all of them? Yeah, you have my thanks. I do. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Shall we report our results? And here I thought I was leading the way. But I suppose your whims take precedence. There will be other opportunities to lead. For now, let us follow. friend many thanks for aiding Ocado. it was a relief to see him return aye that it was the poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened it was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat that much was made well clear we'll be extending his training period the instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes <laughs> speaking of training regimes i must admit i've half a mind to ask you to join us we could use someone with your experience. If you seek to restore your memories, Master, me thinks a trip to Melv might 